Hi folks, Rich from Whitewash here. So I recently got a box of the Lunar Auxilia. Now I've noticed these have been kicking about on Facebook through a Kickstarter with a guy trying to sell the files. The Kickstarter has been reached and uh, I believe that it is getting released, but unfortunately I've done another 3D printer. So a bit frustrated about that. So I went on eBay and managed to find the House of Gaming on there and ordered some from eBay. Now they cost 15 quid. The postage was like £2.85 and it came in from Europe. So without much ado, let's open the box and have a gander what's inside. <coughs> This house of gaming are doing some fantastic sculpts for the Lunar Auxilia. I mean, there's uh, command, there's assault weapon, troops, there's even Ogren. So I'm really looking forward to having a look at these and seeing what they're like. And if they're any good, then I'll. Uh, then that's what my Solar Auxilia will be uh, made from. So you open the box, you get 10 25 mil bases from Hobby Heaven, which is fine. I've got hundreds of GW bases just because I want to be pure. And inside the box so the guys use bubble wrap to pack out the uh, the box to keep them safe no, that's no problem at all not individually wrapped but that's no first not bothered about that it's more about the models themselves so let's have a gander So initially I thought I was buying 5, but you actually get 10, which is a bonus, which makes the uh, unit even cheaper than what it would be from the Forge World. And they're different to the Forge World, a bit more, say I say, Chaos Cultist looking. And they have got some Chaos markings on the chests. The detail's not as crisp as what the picture shows. But it's certainly something that we can work with. So I went and got the guys with the last guns. I mean, anybody who knows who plays 30k knows that the uh, solar auxiliary, you're going to need a bucket load of them. So, but for 15 quid for 10, that's not too bad at all. I'd really be interested in the the more specialist troops, the Ogrins and such and so forth, but. As a start, they're not too bad. Hopefully, uh, the paint job and oils and washes will bring out the detail a lot crisper than what it actually is. So it's a a resin print. So luckily, there's no mold like the uh, same mold lines, the print lines, which is my main gripe about 3D printed stuff is that you get those horrible lines, and these don't have them which is a bonus but unfortunately because I went and got these my zero budget spend trying to be a good boy with funds and stuff for personal hobby stuff it has been thrown out the window only by 15 quid so it's not too bad but still I was doing well painting what I had but now I've got something else to paint such as uh, the life of a model collector I believe her There's lots of gates on these. This plastic frame will have to be all sanded down and whatnot. So they're cheaper than Games Workshop, but there is a lot more work involved than the, the Forge World ones. Now there is one breakage that should have a bayonet on it. But for the price. To be quite honest, I can't grumble. I think they'll look quite nice uh, in my next model world eaters. I was really excited about these, to be quite honest, folks. Solar Auxilia, or rather Lunar Auxilia, will make a nice change from the Forge World ones. So, the size difference. Is there a size difference? 
So we've got a standard marine. There he is. And we've got the solar auxiliary or lunar auxilia, sorry, I keep calling them solar. They're about the same size. Which is, nah, I suppose we can get away with it. I mean, spacesuits are a little bit more bigger and bulkier than flak and, what is it, carapace armor. But yeah, I'm happy. Anyway, guys, that's the Lunar Auxilia from House of Gaming. If you back the Kickstarter and would like to leave a comment about your own experiences, please do. I mean, I'm really interested in uh, getting a full collection of these on the go. And uh, it would be nice to know if the, the other scopes are actually the same as these before I go and buy them. But if the Kickstarter's only just been back, then there might not be a chance. This might be... The only way of getting them before anybody comments on them but either way that's 10 down only another 60 70 to go folks but like subscribe leave a comment i will get back to you uh, as always supporting the channel does help me uh put new material into it i mean i've been quite quiet recently i've got some big projects that i've been working on uh some Adeptus Titanicus, I've got a huge project for Sisters of Battle on the go at the minute. Just recently completed a Thousand Suns project for 40k, so have a look through the videos, you'll be able to find it there. But, I hope everybody's taking it easy, keep safe folks, and I'll upload a new video when I've got some new material to share. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, cheers, bye.